takes on Romania's Mr. KO, Andre Stoika. makes his second appearance in one Super Series. His last match, a loss to Karen Kebabes, was one of the greatest Super Series matches we've yet seen. Stoika, a Super Cruiserweight World Champion. Looking for career win number 50 tonight and looking for another thunderous KO. Will it be Stoika's power strikes or will it be the slickness of Ibrahim Al Booney? Michael Sabella, we've got Mr. Cool versus Mr. K.O. Andre Stoika had four weeks preparing for this one. It's the first time in small gloves for this guy. So he needs to create a shield with his hands. That's what he was talking about. He loves the power in these shots. He says the small gloves give him a feeling of invincibility. Just the defense is gonna be a little bit different. So he's gonna to try to shield himself. Now, his brother has fought Abraham Alboni twice. So his goal in this one is to give him no space, come forward and close that distance. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is a four-time kickboxing world champion, standing at 188 centimeters tall, holding a kickboxing record of 49 wins and 12 losses. Training at a Stoika Brothers Fight Academy, representing Romania. Put your hands together for Andre, Mr. K.O. Stoika. And now, introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he is a kickboxing world champion, standing at 196 centimeters tall, holding a kickboxing record of 37 wins and 7 losses. Training out of Jim Harlem, representing Morocco, he is Mr. Cool Ibrahim Elbouni. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Elias Dolapsis. Red, blue, Centerine. Three rounds, kickboxing. No elbows, no striking to the back of the head, no groin shots. Be strong, be fair, obey my instructions at all times. Any questions, touch gloves, let's go. A stare down from Albuni. He could beat the sun in a staring contest. We are set for three rounds okay. of action between these two towers back, of power inside the sold-out Ball of Asia okay. Arena in Manila, Judge. the Philippines. Judge. Judge. It's one Super Series Nine. kickboxing you ready? in the circle you ready? in four-ounce gloves. Watch the jab of Albuni. Look for Stoika to get on the inside and drill his right hand. Who will strike first? Who will land the first telling blow? Albuni, dipping his toes in the waters. Stoika's match last time against Kababes, arguably the best one Super Series match we've seen so far. Here's the jab two from Albuni. Switch up roundhouse kick from Albuni. Inside leg kick from Albuni. The quick release from Albuni and a taste of the power. Jab two combo from Stoika. Alboni can't keep his hands in that specific guard with big gloves. It's easy to parry those hands when your guard's nice and tight like that. But with little gloves, you gotta, you gotta change up your defense. Stork, you're already going for the cranium cracker, that overhand right to the top of the head of Albuni. Albuni thrusts the jab, drifts off to his left. Nice step up roundhouse kick there from Albuni. Thrust the jab, clinch up now. Stop! Knee from Albuni. Right. Under these one Super Series oh. kickboxing rules, you can engage in the clinch for up to three seconds, so long as you stay busy kneeing. Now elbows permitted under kickboxing oh. rules. Overhand right counter there off the leg kick by Albuni. Stoika taking his time, seeing what the Moroccan has to offer with these four rounds class. Stop! 
a four-time world kickboxing champion, Andre Stoika. Also a kickboxing world champion, Ibrahim Albuni. Switch up round kick again from Albuni, then goes downstairs off the lead lane. Albuni's mixing in the kicks with the punches pretty well, and Stoika just seems comfortable just to box. Overhand right from Stoika, that's the bread and butter punch for the big Romanian. There's a hook from Stoika. Now a little bit more gusto, a little bit more pepper from Andre, Mr. K.O. Stoika. Albuni, beautiful body shot, smack bang to the chest of Stoika. And an excellent good one strike on the exchange there. Injury time. Injury time being allotted here for Albuni. He will be allowed three minutes of recovery time. Look here from Stoika. Inside leg kick. Went a little high on the thigh and just flipped the cup of Ibrahim Albuni. So Albuni allowed a full round of recovery time, that's three minutes. We have not gone past the halfway mark of the contest, so if he can't go on, it would not be a win or it would not be a decision made, I should say. I believe Albuni should be okay to continue here. As referee Dolapsis just has words with Andre Stoika. Now we are scoring on a 10-point must system, folks. That means there are three judges circle side. The winner of the round is given 10 points. The less dominant boxer receives nine points. So as you're scoring at home, wherever you're watching, in 140 countries around the world, you've got your phone, you've got your notepad, make sure you score it at the end of the round. The winner of the round, put a 10. The less dominant boxer, give a nine. At the moment, Mitch, I think Galbuni is doing quite a good job of using his jab and his leg kicks. You know, he's handling the pressure from Stoika well. He's utilizing, he's mixing in the weapons a little bit more. He's throwing the kicks with the punches. You can see Stoika is prob primarily just throwing the hands. Fox. Aside from that one body kick I think he's thrown. Stoika, gloves high. Those four ounce gloves are the Romanian world kickboxing champion. Albuni fakes with the right, throws the jab. There's a right down the centre corridor, found its way through the gloves. Switch up round kick. He likes switching up the round kick Albuni tonight. That's when he quickly brings that lead leg to the back and throws it as a rear leg kick. Stop! Right. Good refereeing here from Alias Galapsis. 20 seconds to go. First round of three. Albuni jab two. Nice duck under. Short right hand. Swing to the hook and misses the target. But some good combination there from the Tower of Power from Morocco. Left hook, right hand from Albuni. Stoika backs him up against the circle up, fence. Up. Little popping right, right hand to the side of the head from Albuni. Up. And referee breaks them. Stop. We go to the towers after one. It's a one super serious kickboxing clutch nine from Manila. It looked like at the end of that round, Albuni started to figure out the rhythm of Stoika and what he was expecting back because he was able to counter a lot of the shots that Stoika was throwing. He was also utilizing the head movement. He was able to read Stoika a little bit better and he found a home for some of those shots. Interesting pressure here from Stoika as he was throwing that big right hand. Albuni was able to slide out of the way. Good first round for both these guys. 10-9 Michael unofficially. Unofficially on my school guard, I'll go 10-9 for Ibrahim Albuni. He landed the kicks, he landed the combination with the hands. But Stoika, still a real filling up process for the Romanian. And you get the feeling that the big boy is going to step it up here in the second round. Mr. KO is going to hunt with those four rounds gloves, with that right hand. It's cocked and ready. Step back, step back. Sold out. Inside the Mall of Asia Arena, okay. the hottest ticket okay. in town. Championship roots of honor. Touch gloves. Two big men. Good roundhouse kick there from Stoika. Look for the switch round kick off the left leg of Albuni. Jab two from Albuni. Didn't have the distance on that one. Needs to be a little lighter on his feet here, I feel, Albuni. Like a good right hand on Stoika then. Oh, look at that scoop. Parry and counter from Stoika. And here's the heavy artillery now from both men. Toe to toe. And Albuni backs off Mr. KO. Here he goes again. Ducks under the left hook from Albuni. How about that exchange? And the mouth guard flew out from Andre Stoika. My word, Albuni opened up with lightning fast hand. The crowd here in Manila are loving this one super serious kickboxing match. Wow, that was a heavy exchange.
reaction of both these guys. You can see I was just like kind of just holding my breath right there, expecting one of those massive knockouts. Albuni Fakes, jab two again from the Moroccan. My word, when they unload, it is scary. There's the switch round kick from Albuni. I like how Stuck is countering that switch roundhouse. So you can see he's trying to throw that sh that left shuffle kick, and then Stoika has that big right hand to follow. This could definitely produce the KO of the night. It's time for Stoika to put the foot down, to turn on the burners and go for it. He edges forward, grinds the leg kick, swings with the left hand. And Albuni a little too slick, a little too evasive. Albuni rides the leg kick. Stoika edges forward again, goes for the headache maker. Albuni drifts back to center circle. Southpaw starts here for Albuni. He has switched oh, that action, lead leg action. to the back. Now he brings it forward. This is his preferred stance, the orthodox stance. Albuni jabs. Now the lateral movement from Albuni. Now high on the balls of his feet. No. Another kick to the no, corner no, no, there. No, 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 no. no he says oh. referee collapses. Stoika looking through the brow. Jab two, overextended, has to be careful of that Albuni. Jab two, and the two was a beard rattler. Stop, stop! All stop. tied up, no hey. way to go. A little bit of a tango. Grabbing, yeah. Referee stop. collapses, just cautioning Albuni. 45 seconds on the clock, second round. Some better stuff at times from Stoika. Outside leaking from the Romanian, counter left hand on the inside, just came agonizingly close. Albuni, very cerebral in the circle at the moment. He knows the power-laden hands of Mr. K.O. Stoika needs to start to put the power on the chin, on the temple. There's the overhand right, the wild left hook. It's the precision though. Power is useless if you don't have accuracy. Outside leg kick from Albuni. Uppercut went higher than my blood pressure. Second round down, one to go. Interesting second round. You can see Stoiko was waiting for shots. He kept that right hand cocked and loaded. See that he takes it on the arm and then counters with that right hand. There he is marching forward, throwing that hook. This was that wild exchange that like Michael Sabello got all excited about. That was some back and forth action right there. And then we saw Stoika just waiting with that right hand cocked and ready to go. Well, Booney starts letting it go and then he pops out the mouthpiece. There's the one. Brandon, the truth. Great champion in the house, the truth, Brandon Vera. Listen to that applause for Vera. A superstar, no, a megastar here in the Philippines and a movie star. And in October in Togo, he's going to defend it. Well, he's going to go for the light heavyweight strap against Onglan Sun, trying to become a two division champion. That'll be awesome. Meanwhile, we are seeing awesomeness in the form of this one super serious kickboxing match between Stoika yes, and Albuni. Third and final round. Still anyone's for okay. the taking. Final round. Unofficially, Match. I will give it two rounds to Albuni. Stoika needs more combinations, needs more output here in the third and final. Jab opens up here for Albuni, so to the high left round kick. Stoika's got to pull the pin on his hands now. Good right hand down the centre corridor from Albuni. Step through knee from Albuni. Lynch is legal as so long as the knees are working. Time for Stoika to go. Goes to the legs. Needs to thread the hands over the top. Folks, come on! Stop! Oh, overhand right. Folks, go! Action! Stoika. Action! needs to go hard. He needs to step into Albuni, close off the Moroccan's footwork and nail him with that right hand. He needs the aggression now. He needs to start bullying and manhandling Albuni. And Albuni just needs to stay at range, do what he's doing. Pick him off with a jab too, throw the leg kicks, get under the counters. Albuni doing everything right. It seems to be all for Stoika to do with 150 remaining Dragon. But do you think that Albuni is really riding that big of a lead going into this third and final round? I think the second round, these judges could have seen it either way. It was a closer round than we saw in the first. Roundhouse kick there from Stoika. Overhand right, you hear the crack of those four-ounce gloves on the bottom there of Albuni. 
Abu just feels his head. Maybe Fountil's cut, though he's not. Loves up high now, Booney. Little popping jab. No right hand for company. No leg kicks underneath from the Moroccan. Leg kick from Stoika. When is Stoika going to bite down on that mouth guard like we saw him do against Kababes and go for it? He cannot stay at range here with Del Booney. And referee Delapsus wants hey, more action. One action, one action. Stoika's almost like an aggressive counter strike. He marches forward, he tries to bait you in, he's yeah. laying traps for you. He's trying to get a big exchange so he can answer back with shots. But Albuni's not really obliging, he's just kind of picking him apart. Throwing out that jab, throwing these body kicks, throwing the leg kicks. Stop. Oh, looks like a possible poke to the eye. Well, Albuni. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called for injury time. So referee Delapsis has called for injury time for Ibrahim Al Booney. Let's see if we can have a look what happened here. That's the danger with these little gloves. Looks like we couldn't see it from that position. Let's see if we can get another look at it here. Fingers open here, and there it is. Yeah. Uh, accidental, of course, from. Andre Stoika, but nonetheless, as Mitch said, it is a problem you can encounter with these four ounce open fingered gloves. So Albuni will have up to three minutes for medical examination and recovery. Now we are past the halfway point of the match. If Albuni could not go on, we will get a decision here as for the winner. Let's take another look at accidental eye poke here off the right glove of Stoika. That's when he backed up Albuni earlier. Stoika's been trying for the overhand right. That's his bread and butter, as I mentioned in the opening round. It hasn't really worked for him, though, tonight, Mr. KO. Now, let's take a look at the finger poke here. Watch the right. There it is. Maybe the middle finger goes into the eye of Albuni. The right eye of the Moroccan. Accidental from Stoika. Albuni is still in the hands of the doctor. His eyes are closed. If he's having any sort of vision problems, he will not be allowed to continue. There's a good shot of it there too. The athlete safety is always paramount. And when you've got someone like Mr. KO coming at you with four ounce gloves, you've got to be able to see everything. Take a look at this very slow motion replay here. Watch the right glove of Stoika. The fingers are already open here, you see that? And they come straight out. It may have been even to both eyes, you know. It may have been a fourth finger, the ring finger in the left eye and the middle finger in the right eye of Albuni. There you see Albuni. Now it looks like both eyes are causing him problems. The left eye looks a little more closed than the right eye. May not be able to go on here, Ibrahim Albuni, which would be devastating. What has been a tantalizing match from the get-go. Almost that three minutes of injury time is coming to a close now for Albuni. I don't think Albuni wants to stop it. Well, that's the decision of the doctor here, though. The doctor's got to make sure the athlete is safe can't see, you can't compete. Albuni wants to continue. Ladies and gentlemen, injury time has now concluded. This match will continue. Injury time is over. The match, we believe, is going to continue. There is damage around the left eye of Albuni. They are wiping his eye now. But it's the left eye that looks more damaged than the right here for Ibrahim Albuni. And he continues in this third and final round. They close the circle gate. Referee Delapsus to get us back underway. Now, how will this affect Albuni? And will Stoika, will Mr. KO pounce on him now? Closes the fists, Stoika. Fakes with the right hand, opens that right hand now. Roundhouse kick nicely done to the right ribs. 35 seconds on the clock, third and final round. 
Get to the back leg. Nice leg kick there from Albuni. Jab two from the Rockers. Roundhouse kick with four arms from Stoika. Sticks the jab in. Stoika couldn't catch him on the inside. Good leg kick from Stoika. Roundhouse kick again. That one to the waist of Albuni. It looks like we may go down to the judges here in the middle for this one. Can Stoika find a KO in the dying stages? He swings with a left hook. And we go down to the judges. Once again, three judges, circle side, scoring in a 10-point bus system. Albuni, not pleased. And we await, along with a sold-out crowd inside the Mall of Asia Arena for the results of this one. It's your thoughts. I think probably see two rounds to one. Possibly Stoic uh, Albuni. Maybe the second round is the one that I'm kind of questioning there. But I think uh, the you know, I think Albuni was just a little bit upset with the uh, the groin shot, the eye poke. You know, Stoic was trying to find a home for that right hand, trying to push forward. You don't want to leave it up to the judges' scorecards, but that's what we're doing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the Blue Corner. takes the win here by decision over a gutted Ibrahim Albuni. Folks, when we return, Leandro Issa and Fu Chung Shin, you're watching one championship.